Welcome back to Technique Tuesday on Ball and Feed, and today we're going to talk about the difference between a dance position and a swing versus a normal dance position and the other dances. Let's get into it. So right away, a traditional dance position we take in a lot of different dances, sorry, is when we hold on our shoulder blade, we have our left hand up here, her hand goes in the front of my shoulder, and this is the most traditional hold we have in many, many dances that you can always kind of default to, right? But when we do swing dancing, East Coast swing, single or triple time dancing, we drop this hand down and we turn more to a V at each other, right? So you can see this is a very different kind of hold, right? So if I go through this thoroughly, my left hand drops down in a much more casual way and opens up to face the up and she puts her palm down on top of mine. I go for her shoulder blade still, but now she adjusts her hand, if I turn around, sorry, from being on the front of the shoulder to now she goes around my back as well and kind of cups my shoulder blade the same way. So that now our arms are connected all the way around, which is different than the previous hold. And you can also see we're at a V towards each other instead of facing directly in front of one another. The reason for this is that when we do the swing basic, we do this triple step or single time swing. And then when we rock backwards, we both rock away from each other, which we need the space in order to be able to both rock fully away and get all of our action and rotation away from one another. So it's a much more casual dance in terms of the basic and the frame itself. Let's say if I'm dancing this really, really casually and really, really small, the elbows can be much more relaxed and the left hand doesn't really have a job here, right? We'll still kind of hug each other around the back even though still, because when I rotate this basic, I want to work myself into her hand, which helps a lot, especially rotating to the right. And we have a very even, connection in the frame so I can rotate to the left as well. Whereas if her hand was in the front of my shoulder, I don't have anything to really, really work into to rotate back as much. I have to use my hands more instead of using hers as leverage, which helps a lot. So if I dance this again very, very, very casually, my elbows can be very, very relaxed, right? However, if I want to dance maybe some more difficult patterns, it's a faster song, I feel like I don't have a lot of control, then again, we just pick up our elbows more and have a much more circular, energetic frame around each other. I pick them both up, we have a much bigger, stronger frame. Even with this free hand here, we both pick this elbow up and try to imagine this like hula hoop of energy around each other. So now when I go to rotate around, it's even a little bit easier because both my hands are much more engaged where before, if I make it much more casual, everything just gets smaller. It's harder to rotate, harder to be clear about the lead and fall of certain patterns. So that's the biggest difference between the two closed dance position and then this more open feeling in the swing hold, which we even use in other dances too, like hustle, we get into a swing dance position sometimes as well. So if we ever refer to a swing hold or a swing dance position, this V looking dance position is what we're referring to. Mm -hmm.